Here we are at Ralph Wilson Stadium for this afternoon's matchup between the Chiefs and the Bills. When you look at this matchup, you've got to talk about the deep threats, the guys that can go long, and two of the best, speediest receivers in the game are going to be on the same field today. Yeah, it's going to be fun to see how they, both teams, the offenses, how do they get the football to these speedy wide receivers, and no matter what you do on the defensive side, you go, well, we're going to take them out of the game, we're going to double team them, really, how are you going to do that when they're in motion? They're always changing formations. Very tough to do now. You just got to rely on good tackling and try to prevent those short catches and long runs. Setting up in the pistol on this play. They'll call on the services of C.J. Spiller. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Second and 11. Looking to go deep. And there's a great catch. And here, no one's going to get him now. The 10, touchdown. Not many quarterbacks in this league can throw that type of pass. Throw it high in the air, far down the field, and have it just drop in there right on the target. Beautiful throw for the touchdown. Dan Carpenter readying his team for the kickoff. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. Defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Throwing now to his left. And complete. He's brought down. In this league now, you got to keep these wide receivers and quarterbacks guessing. You just can't come out there and play man-to-man -man every play and think that's going to work. you got to mix in some zones, some blitzes, and then occasionally go man-to-man -man coverage. That reception gave them the first down. Trying to work that left side. Incompletion on that hurried throw. Jamal Charles is in the backfield, and they sack the quarterback. Well, when you get in situations like this, third long, you've got to be smart on the offensive side. Yeah, I know you want to pick up the first down, but don't force it, because if you do, it'll probably lead to a turnover. Shotgun look here for Alex Smith. The formation here, shotgun looks to his left. The tackle is made. It's third down and over 10 yards. You got to give your offensive line a lot of credit. They give the quarterback extra time, and he makes the throw down the field to pick up the first down. First down, following the long play. The quarterback will hand it off. Big gainer there by Jamal Charles. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, it's his legs are the size of a refrigerator, so hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Tight end in motion. Back to the ground now on first down. And that's a two-yard game. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. It's now second down. Charles is hit, and he's in for the touchdown. 
Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? The Chiefs with an extra point try on the way. Count it. Ryan Suckup ready for the kickoff. They're setting up the return. That'll stop the play right there. Goodwin's a receiver in the slot. C.J. Spiller. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. There was a lot of excitement a year ago going into the season for the Buffalo Bills. They'd gone out and signed Mario Williams. A lot of people thought that, okay, this is going to be the year for the Bills. It didn't prove to be that. They had to make a coaching change at the end of the season. You know, the Buffalo Bills, to me, the way I look at things, they're like the Oakland Raiders. I said, I've said it so many times, I'm not going to say it anymore. This is their year. We'll find out. I, when you talk about the Bills, I still don't know what they stand for and where the strength of the football team is. When you look at the Bills offensively, what do you see? Well, I see one thing. You know, the first thing that jumps out when I see the Bills offense is C.J. Spillers. Ohio, Ohio, running the football, catching it, it doesn't matter. He is the fast. If he's not the fastest running back in the Ohio. NFL, he's in the top three. He can make Let's plays. Go. Third and four. Looking across the middle, that reception picks up the first down. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts him in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. Ohio! Ohio! The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying, we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. What a catch down the middle of the field. Touchdown! you got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback seating. And what do you get? An easy touchdown pass. The Chiefs are anxious to return the kickoff. down as they head to the line. They send the tight end in motion. First and ten, Jamal Charles, left side. Tackled down at the 28-yard line. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job on the offensive line. Second and five. And they'll run the football with Charles. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Well, that's just a good old physical run by the offense there. And it's good for a few yards and gets him another first down. He'll stay on the ground on first down. Goes to the left. What a run by Charles. Well, when you give up a running play that that's long, you got to say this to the defense. You did not hustle enough. If you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football. That's how you stop long runs. First and ten. Smith still got the football after the play fake. And he's almost intercepted. Well, they go for the bomb, but the defensive backfield was not fooled. Yeah, they were all over at that time, and they just, that was like shadow defense. Wherever the receiver was going, the defense was right next to him. Great job. Right. 
Second down after the incompletion. And Davis is taking the handoff. Got the first, and he's got some space. The Chiefs are in the end zone for the touchdown. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. Chiefs getting set for kickoff. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Goodwin is going to get set in the slot for this snap. To the right side. They bring him to the turf. And that will close out the first quarter in Orchard Park, New York. We'll return in just a moment. That'll be second and four after the running play. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Got a couple. What a good job by the defensive player there. Just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Third down and two. He'll throw it over the middle. Throws a strike. Touchdown. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But in today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. they got to make the catch. That time he did. Extra point is good. Bills ready to boot this one down the field. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Wide receivers are bunched up. Alex Smith from the gun. The quarterback is taken down. I don't know what the quarterback was looking at. He had to know the defense was blitzing that time. Doesn't make a quick enough decision, and the defense gets there and gets the sack. Charles is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Breaks free. A lot of ways to get plays in the NFL. It doesn't always have to be by a pass. Good job that time by the running back. After the long game, let's see what they do here. He'll go to the left. No doubt about it. Touchdown. Well, that score ties the game up. Now, on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Quarters formation here for the defense. First and ten. The throw to the left. Goodwin's got it. On a pass, had some heat on it. Well, they call this route a lot of things. They call it a goal route, a nine route, or a fly route. They all of them mean the same thing. Run as fast as you can, get behind the defense. C.J. Spiller. 
He is tackled at the 40-yard line. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. That ball is picked off. In on the stop. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. The Chiefs in the pistol. First and ten. And they'll give it to Jamal Charles. He's got some daylight. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. The Chiefs come out in the pistol. Second down and six. Jamal Charles carries the football. He's in, he's in the clear, the 40. Jamal Charles out of the University of Texas. He might be as fast as running back as there is in this league. You give him a little bit of a window, and he will pick up big yards. Let's see how they back up the big play here. They motion the receiver around to the other side. Davis got it again. Slashing to the right side. Has some space to work with. Finds the sacred sod. Touchdown. Anytime you see a long run for a touchdown, what you got to look for is blocking downfield. Nice job by the uh, wide receivers and everybody hustling, making a block and a long touchdown run. Chiefs getting set for kickoff. They stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Ohio! Ohio! Goodwin's lined up in the slot. Manuel's going to take it from the gun. Stands in the pocket. Looking to scramble. And they tackle him there at the 34. Well, good job that time by the defense getting pressure on the quarterback but you can't let him break the pocket. Look at this time, he breaks the pocket, he's looking down the field, nobody open, so he decides to run and picks up some big yards. Oh, it almost picked off that time. Quarterback was under a lot of duress on that pass, and alas, it's incomplete. All right, listen, I know he was under duress, but you gotta hit these type of throws in the NFL. You're not always gonna get perfect protection. That's not a good job by the quarterback. Second down here. Looking to the right side and throwing. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving. And he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Third and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. Makes the reception. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They go up. They make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. Spiller is in the backfield. Second down and 10. Spiller is going to take the handoff now. Not much the offense can do in a situation like this. Third and long, what you probably will have to do is either surprise him with a run or throw it short and hope somebody can make a play and pick up a first down. Challenges the coverage and has the completion. Well, you get a couple first downs on a drive. It just, of course, it makes you feel good about what you're doing. It loosens up the offensive play caller, and there's nothing like dictating to the defense. I love it. 
right where it had to be. The old-fashioned way of picking up big yardage is running the fly route right on the outside, show the speed of the receiver and the strength of the quarterback's arm. What a nice completion. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Manual standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They almost pick it off in the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. Second down now. They'll call on the services of C.J. Spiller. Four yards. It's a good play call so far in this drive by the offensive coordinator. His team is down, but they are marching down the field. The long drive continues. Third and goal at the six. Catch is made. Touchdown, Buffalo Bills. Good job by the offense. They get in there. They tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. Makes the PAT. The Chiefs are anxious to return the kickoff. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. Up in the pistol formation. They give it to the back, and he's running off tackle. you got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Second down and seven. Jamal Charles. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Well, Jim, they didn't pull the defense at all. Second down, you run the football, hoping to make it third and short. Then you lose yards, third and longs. They're hard to get in the NFL. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. And they'll run the football with Charles. Slashes to the left side. So a three and out. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long. They can do just about anything, and it's going to work. And they stop the offense that time. Dustin Colquitt looks ready to boot this one away. going to try and return this punt and tackle down at the 43 yard line well, that time he only gets a couple yards and if i'd have been the punt returner that time i would have called for a fair catch Ohio. defense was close Ohio. all Ohio. around you there was nowhere to go cj spiller is in the backfield Hamba holly brings the quarterback down the offensive coordinator just got to make some adjustments here they can't stop the defensive line from sacking the quarterback. Ohio, so either keep the tight end in or Ohio. keep the halfback in to help block for the QB. Coming up, second down. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And he's intercepted. Bringing the play to an end. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice catch. This will most likely be the final play before the half ends. First down and 10. Smith's turning to look downfield now after selling the play fake. And it's incomplete. And that will close out the first half from Western New York. And we'll take a short break for halftime before returning for the third quarter. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The 
The Chiefs line up in the pistol offense. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. And now here's the first snap of the second half. Taking off. Spins away from the hit. Big gainer there by Jamal Charles. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. First and ten, and they go back to the ground. They tackle him for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. The Chiefs lined up in the pistol. It's a second and 13. Another handoff. It's away from the stack. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. The off-tackle run. It's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield, punt the football. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Bills official. He told me the doctors are calling it a sprained MCL. They've scheduled an MRI to make sure that diagnosis is correct. Jamal Charles is in the backfield. Delay of game will cost him five. Delay of game, offense. Still fourth down. Dustin Colquitt looks ready to boot this one away. is nailed after a gain of only one well only a couple yards that time by the punt returner good defense by the punt coverage team they get down their speed they hustle they're all around him and they only give up a couple yards takes the staff from the shotgun on the money met at the 40 yard line another name for the fly route the go route it's a streak and that means they want you to be a blue streak, run as fast as you can, get by that defense, and make a big play. Makes the catch, and that's a gain of nine. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, he got to throw one down the field. C.J. Spiller is in the backfield. Johnson's there to catch a ball that had a lot of heat on it. That time, the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but... The quarterback made a bad read, but these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcells said to me once about Mark Mavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field and... My guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Here's the first snap after the big play. Challenging the defenders to the right side, and it's Eric Berry who brings them down. Teams in the NFL spend about 30, 40% of their time all week long practicing plays in the red zone. So Buffalo in for the score. Well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. The Bills getting set now for the extra point. Inside of the uprights. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. 
Guys, I just spoke with a Bills official. They're saying it's just a minor injury, so he should be back on the field pretty quickly. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. Now in first down, halfway through the third quarter, Charles is going to secure the handoff. Good job by the safety, diagnosing the run, getting up outside and making the tackle for Let's a short game. Three. Three. Second and 11, and they'll give it to Jamal Charles. Picks up the first and still has some room to run. What a run by Charles. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back, they need to make a big play here. Get ready. the running game on first down when you make play calls like that you're not going to win many football games that was a terrible call here on first down that leads us to second down setting up screen with two hands he has it touchdown Chiefs well here we are it's a tie game now we'll see how the teams react to it will it be positive or negative the Chiefs for the extra point Ryan Suckup ready for the kickoff. He's got room. Well, a lot of good things happen on both sides of football this time. How about that return? by the return team. Good job, good blocking. Look at the speed of that guy running. They get the tackle from behind. They stop the touchdown. C.J. Spiller is in the backfield, working that left side. Oh, should have had it. The defense got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. The defense comes out of the dime. Second down, 10. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. And what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver, but the receiver big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. They come to the line and it's first down. Jamal Charles carries the football. Got a big lane. Unstoppable. Big gainer there by Jamal Charles. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all in one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. The Chiefs will go with the pistol on this play. He's in the clear. Gain of eight. An off-tackle run. It's a staple of all offenses in the NFL. And a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. Heading right. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, 
uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. First and 10, Davis has got it on the handoff. Wide to the left, got a little crease. Touchdown and drawing close. When you're behind in the football game, drive down and score, they did that. Now the next time when they get back out there, they got to do it again. Show some patience and drive it down the field. Lining up now for the two. Fred 38. Get ready. Fred 38. He sends the halfback in motion. They feed him the ball again. Got the touchdown. Got the two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do. And you know what? Now I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Offense lines up here. Launches it down the field. Nice catch. And that will close out the third quarter here in the suburbs of Buffalo. Orchard Park will return in just a moment. Flex round! Flex round! Watch the flip! Watch the flip! First down here after the completion. Almost intercepted. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. They need to get the playoff. Trying to find an open man. And it's out of bounds incomplete. Now looking at third down. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. He makes the catch, able to take the football out to the 28-yard line. Offside, defense. First down. They'll take that gift from the defense and line up now with a new set of downs. Eyeing that left side. They've got him down there. Good job by the receiver running into that defense, through the zone, finding the open space, and making a nice catch. C.J. Spiller is in the backfield. Second down and five. He's scrambling now. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. When we were at practice on Friday, Jim, this team was working on red zone offense all the time. Well, here they are. It's a tie game. Fumble. And it's a takeaway. That's a timeout by the defense. Well, that time the offense fumbles the football, but the defense hit them so hard, uh, there's no chance of hanging on. Hits the ground, and the defense recovers. pistol formation as they go ground here breaks free has some space to work with has enough for the first as he's taken down at the 38 well when you're on the defensive side if you read the offensive formation where do they have the most numbers at and that's usually where they're going to run the football that time the offense goes to the strong side gets outside you should have an extra defender there waiting for him terrible job by the defense he's got a little bit of daylight here 
Touch game breaker. Touchdown. Well, it was a wonderful run by the running back. No doubt about it. He gets the touchdown. But let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They blocked him up front, gave him that opportunity, and then he made it happen. Extra point is good. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. First down. He wants to go deep. He caught it. For 46 yards. Now you saw why defensive backs can't sleep the night before the game when they play against this quarterback. Beautiful. Long throw down the field for the big completion. They've got a first down now after that catch. Manuel's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. Black round! Black round! That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. You know, if you're a defensive player and you're covering a receiver down here on first and goal, you don't have to cover that much area. That's a terrible job by the defense giving up that touchdown pass. Dan Carpenter readying his team for the kickoff. Head on, right there at the 20. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I just spoke with a Bills official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. What a run by Charles. you got to keep giving the football to Jamal Charles because if you give it to him enough, sooner or later, he's going to pick up a big game like that one there. The game is tied, and time is a factor. Leading on that running attack again here on first down. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. is running out the game is tied and the defense must do whatever it can to not give up a score second and seven davis handed the football they've got him behind the line of scrimmage that time i gotta blame the running back uh, he made a bad read his vision was terrible he makes the wrong decision and it cost his team yards lost two minutes to go in the second half This is third down. Tight ends in motion here. Oh, 
screen pass. Brings it into his body. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Good job by the defense. Uh, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. Quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. They'll go shotgun here. And he hauls it in. Nothing like confidence. It is a great thing to have in all professional sports, but the head coach says, let's go for it on fourth down. The offense picks it up. You are ready to roll now. This game is all tied up, and it's headed to the wire. And he'll go to the left. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play? The Chiefs will approach this play from out of the pistol. Only a yard. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. And Davis is taking the handoff. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first. And now we've got a fourth down situation. The Chiefs are a kick away from a field goal that would give them the lead here late in the game. That kick is no good. No good. Jim sitting up here in the booth. When he kicked it, we thought it was going to be good, but it just misses so close. C.J. Spiller is in the backfield. First and ten. Goodwin's got it on a pass that had some heat. The Bills call a timeout and are left now with only one. Pressure kick. Coming up here. seal this victory. Oh, I think it did seal the victory, Jim. What a day for this football team. What a day by the offense. Every time they happened, had the opportunity, they came through. They got it done. Man, you feel good after games like this. Signals, fair catch. The Chiefs are getting set for their next possession. 
And this will probably wrap things up here. First and ten, Jamal Charles running to the left side, and they tackle him down at the 37-yard line. There it is. The game has come to an end. It was a good one throughout, hotly contested right down to the wire. What's it like for a team standing on the